Welcome to Tech Charters again. Today, I'm going to show you the process to install Rockem on Fedora 40. Fedora recently released version 40 and this is a great Linux version. Uh, I tested it. It's really, really much improvement than the 39 version. It is coming with Genome 46 and it has some good uh, update. But uh, our focus for today is to install Rockem on Fedora 40. So it's a completely new installation. I didn't do anything, but I update this uh, Fedora 40 with the command sudo dnf update. And if you give the password, it will check the update and it will update the version. So, uh, I wanted to run this command and show everything from the scratch, but uh, I need to install OBS Studio to s capture the screen. Uh, and if I don't update it, the OBS Studio will not work per perfectly. So, in that case, I need to uh, update the Fedora 40. And also, I installed RPM Fusion repository. So the uh, you, if you search RPM Fusion on Google and click on the configuration, you can get the command. This is the command. If you put these and this, these are the two commands to uh, install RPM Fusion on Fedora 40, as well as um, enable the open H264 codec. That is very important for uh, OBS Studio. So I installed them. And from now, I didn't install anything else. So I will start from the scratch from here. Now our Fedora 40 is updated. I already configured RPM Fusion. Actually, RPM Fusion repository is not necessary for uh, Rockem. If you don't install RPM Fusion, it's okay. Uh, you need simple command to install it. Just one single command and your Rockem will be installed. And of course, the Rockem version is 6. So that's beautiful, right? Let's start with the command. So the command is sudo tnf install Rockem and the star. So what it will do, it's very simple. Sorry, I have a typo. So sudo dnf install rockm and the star means it will search the rockm uh, on the repository and anything after rockm it will install. Okay, so this is one single command. It will install everything for rockm. If you press enter, it'll download almost one gigabit. That's fine. We want everything. If you want to see what it will install, these are the dependencies and these are the uh, Rockem uh, files it will install. So we have Rockem SMI, Rockem Info, Rockem OpenCL, Devil, Heap, everything. So that's really great. Now if I click Y and press Enter, it'll start installing Rockem. So I will be back when it's done. So our Rockem is installed perfectly. So the next thing is we need to uh, put our user to the render and video uh, group. So this is the command sudo user mode minus a minus capital G render video. So these are the group name and your username will it will take your username to the variable and it will include it. So press enter and you are done. So the next very important thing is to restart. Okay. 
and after restarting Linux, your Rockm will be completely working. So uh, I'm going to restart my Fedora and will back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I restarted my Fedora 40. Now uh, let's check whether Rockm is working or not. So let's run the command Rockm info and it should show my graphics card and the version. So if I go there, you can see it, it is showing all kind of information here. So device type GPU, it's fine. So GPU, GFX1030 name, and the marketing name is AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT. So it's perfectly fine. It is showing everything correctly. And the second command I want to run is rock m minus smi okay it is showing the usage of that so it's perfectly working okay so our rock m is installed just in one command for fedora 40 it's really really great we don't need to do anything like any um preparation or anything it's just one command away to run rock m and now let's uh, test it with Stable Diffusion YBY Forge. Uh, I will install the Forge one. It's good. So let's search with this Stable Diffusion. So this is based on the original Stable Diffusion YBY. So click on the github repository and just copy the code git code and uh, before doing that i will make a, a directory new directory with the command mkdir and for the this uh stable diffusion web ui i will make a directory because i want to install multiple things here so i will put everything on the sd directory okay so go to cd sd that's great now i will clone the repository here so i just copy from here and if i press enter so i'm sorry i should put the command git and clone and after that i will put the um, repository link and it should work perfectly fine okay that's fine it is uh, already installed the next thing i will install miniconda and configure a virtual environment for our sd okay so search with the miniconda installing miniconda click on this link and go to linux installer download the installer you will get the link from here so just copy, right click on that and copy the link. And here you can download this with wget, okay? So in Fedora 40, there is new version, wget2 is uh, enabled. So you can use wget, I, I will uh, do with the wget2 just uh, to test it. Let's see what it will do. So I will put the link. If you want, you can just put wget and then the link. That will be fine. But I want to test the wget too. Yes, it's working great. Okay, that's fine. It's downloaded. So if I ls, yes, I have the miniconda here. So if I run bash dot slash miniconda and run it it'll ask me to enter okay i don't want to read these things i want to accept the license yes and yes i want to install this on the miniconda directory here is the directory home tech jotters miniconda 3 it'll install here fine and 
after that uh yes conda you need refer shell yes i want to do this it'll enable the conda command so press yes and it's fine it's done so the next thing is i need to uh restart the terminal not the linux just the terminal okay i'm going to uh restart it okay so I restarted the terminal and you can see it is showing page. So our conda is working perfectly. The next thing is uh, I want to go to the SD directory and uh, I need to create a virtual environment for our uh, stable diffusion forge. Okay. So for that, the command is conda create double dash name. And then the name, I want to use the same name as the directory because uh, what I want to do is I want to install multiple things like I want to install conf UI, then uh, the uh, text generation wave UI, everything here. So I want to install them in the same directory and in the same environment so that I don't need to install PyTorch or those things multiple times. I just want to install them single time okay that's that's the reason i uh, create the sd directory and i want to create a sd environment with python is equal to 3.11 i'm going to install 3.11 because i'm using rockm6 and it's working with python 3.11 if i press enter it'll start creating our environment press y and it's it should work perfectly. Yes, it's done. So I need to activate the Conda environment, SD environment here. Just uh, Conda activate SD, press enter. And if you see the SD, that means the SD environment is now ready. So now the next thing is uh, I need to install PyTorch. So if you search PyTorch here, and click on the get, get start and here i want to install the stable version is rock m6 so you can install the uh, stable version as well as if you want uh, updated one so you can click on this uh, one and it will give you the nightly uh, preview but i want to go with the stable one so this is the command if you just copy this command and paste it here, it'll work. But sorry, before that, I want to uh, start installing the requirements for Conda, sorry, uh, for the Stable Diffusion Web UI Forge, okay? So to do that, I need to go to the directory Stable Diffusion Web UI Forge, and from here, I need to run the, if you, if you see the directory, there is some requirements dot text. I want to install all the requirements from that. So just search with this, what is inside the requirements. If I use the command cat and requirements, it will show what is inside this. So it will install everything from this list. Okay, and if you see, it will install Torch. So I will install Torch as it want. And after that, I will remove the Torch and install the PyTorch for Rockem. okay? So the command to uh, actually install these requirements is PIP install minus R requirements dot txt so it'll install everything from this list okay it may take a little bit time and i will be back after it's done great all the requirements are installed perfectly so the next thing is to uninstall the Torch version, the normal Torch version and Xformers. So this is the command, PIP uninstall Torch, Torch Fission, Torch Audio, Torch Tech, 
and everything related with the torch and exformers press enter so yes i want to uninstall everything so uh, i ins uninstalled the torch things so the next thing is i need to install pytorch rock and pytorch okay so this is the command if i copy these and paste it here it will install the latest rock and six pytorch press enter and it'll take definitely some time so i will be back after it's done Great, so PyTorch is installed perfectly. So everything is running perfectly, installing perfectly. So no problem. The next thing is uh, I need to run this and test the Staple Efficient Web UI Forge, okay? So to run this, I can run the uh, Staple Efficient Web UI Forge with the launch.py command but i need to uh, you know transfer some uh, values with this to work with the uh, rockem so for that i want to create a script for that so that i don't need to type these parameters multiple times every time i want to run this okay so i will create a uh, bash script with the command nano and then uh, i will put the name launch dot sh okay if i click here it'll create a launch dot sh file here and i want to just paste it so these are the parameters i need to pass okay uh, I want listen so that it, it I can run that from the local network and the other things, uh, the other parameters. And the most important thing is I need to uh, send this parameter so that it can use my GPU. So uh, I will put this uh, launch script to the video description or the comment so that you can just copy and paste it. Okay. Uh, so I will save it with Control O. That means uh, I want to write this on launch.sh file, and after that Control X. So our launch file is ready. The next thing is I want to change the permission for the launch.sh. So that command is chmod plus x and launch.sh. Now if I see. You can see the launch.sh is green so it's actually i changed the permission so i don't need to use bash just dot slash launch dot sh and it will take a little bit time for the first time it will launch the uh, stable efficient way by forge but it will take a little bit time for the first time okay i will first forward it and we'll be back when it's done Okay, so it's uh, actually configured perfectly. If I click on this link, uh, it'll start the Stable Diffusion Web UI Forge. It's very similar to the Stable Diffusion Web UI original version. So this is the interface. If I click on this, I can see the realistic vision is downloaded with this installation. So if I click here and click generate, it'll I'm just generating a random file. Uh, let's see. It is it is actually running 7.21 iteration per second. That's really good. And this is the version. Yeah. So. It's uh, uncensored, so I'm sorry for that. But now, uh, if I click and think it'll work perfectly, the iteration is fine. So now, the second thing, it's working perfectly. And the second thing I need to do, do 
is I want to, uh, you know, use some uh, stable evolution Excel version. So let's uh, check with this. If I go, if I close this, actually with Control C, it'll close the uh, stable diffusion YBY Forge. Now, if I go to LS and here, this is the models. I want to go to the models directory. So CD models. And here I can see the diffusion, LoRa, SVD, everything is here. I want to go to the stable diffusion. Let's go there. LS. So this is the directory where I need to put the new um, models. So let's uh, check with hugging face. Search with this. I will go to the models. And if I search with stable diffusion, Excel base one. So I want to check which one I really want. So this is the refiner one, stable diffusion 2.1, and everything is here. And stable cascading is here. So I just want to run the refiner one. So click on that. And if you go to the files and versions, you can find everything here. So this is the stable. Sorry, I just need to install this base version. Okay, go to the files and versions. And if you see, these are the version. So I will download the Civil Division Base 1 with V. So right click on that, copy the link, and I will use wget2 to download this on this folder, on this directory. Okay. Sorry, it's I think it's not downloaded perfectly. So I'm I will remove this. Okay, so let's click on that. And now I want to copy this link. Sorry for that. And use wget2. And now the download link. Let's see. Yes, now it's downloading the exact file. It was the first time when I put the, uh, you know, link, copy the link, it was downloading the it was downloaded the XML ver XML file. I don't need the XML file. I just need to uh, download the VA file. So safe tensors actually. So uh, from here, if you right click on the download and copy the link, paste it and it'll work perfectly fine. So I'll be back when it's downloaded. Okay, so the thing is, actually, when I downloaded the file, uh, it is actually saved in a new name. So if I go there, step efficiencies, then models, then again, stable diffusion, you can see this is actually uh, downloaded with this name. So if I rename it and remove the download through just the safe tensors and now, if I go there and refresh it, it, it is now showing this. So be careful with the name. If it's, started, if it's uh, ended with the true, false, those names, uh, it will not work. So select the safe tensors and just put the name here. So it's actually loaded. So before running a prompt here, I want to see if our GPU is working with this. So just to open a new terminal, clicking here. So the command is watch minus N1 rockham SMI. Let's see. Yes. So 
what it will do, it will run the rockm smi command every one second. Okay, so currently the GPU is not working at all. And if I run a prompt, so a sports car. So let's put a black sports car motion blur 8k DSLR. Let's check it. Uh, I'm just putting a random one and I want to make it 1024. And here also 1024. Let's see how it works. So now you can see the GPU is using 96%, 99%. And if I click here, it is generating the iteration is very good for Rockham or NVIDIA. It's, uh, I don't use, I'm not using NVIDIA, so it's, it's really good. So it is using the GPU fully. And this is the result. And I'm really happy with this result. It's, it's really, it, it looks really great. So let's wait for the finishing thing. I click here. Okay, it is still working. So now it's done. If I click here, it's really good. I really like this. Okay, so, okay guys, that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, uh, it will help you to install Rockham on Fedora 40 easily and quickly. And you can run these uh, ML tools. Uh, in my next video, I will show you how to install the DaVinci Resolve and uh, on Fedora 40. So, let's... Uh, that's all for today and if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel it'll be helpful for my channel and it'll actually give me the boost to make new videos thank you